Rohit, what are you picking up from the ground? Because now it appears the buzz is getting stronger. Do you think Nitish Kumar will take that plunge? Do you think BJP does not need Nitish Kumar anymore for Bihar elections? What has led to this rumor getting stronger that there is a BJP JDU divorce happening? Uh, Pooja, let me make it clear that BJP needs Nitish Kumar more in Bihar than Nitish Kumar needing a BJP because Nitish Kumar always had an option of going with the RJD and forming a government and becoming the chief minister. And this option is still open to him and that is what we are learning that perhaps uh, in the next 72 hours Nitish Kumar may be contemplating uh, switching sides dumping the BJP and joining hands with the RJD and, and, and the Mahagathbandhan and becoming the chief minister uh, again. And all eyes now will be on that crucial uh, legislative party meetings that are lined up for tomorrow. Remember, 11 o'clock in the morning, you have the JDU legislative uh, party meeting happening, RJD legislative party meeting happening, Congress legislative party meeting happening. So all the important uh, parties of, uh, of the Mahagathbandhan, RJD, Congress, all are having their important meetings along with uh, the JDU legislative party meeting. And in, in this meet, after this meeting, it will be some sort of a, some sort of a clarity it will be there that what Nitish Kumar really intends to do. Because till now, what we are learning, Nitish Kumar is extremely unhappy with the BJP as okay. he has alleged his party has alleged that BJP was using RCP Singh to damage the Janata Dal United, like he like BJP mm. had done in 2020 with the with the Chirag Paswan model. So BJP is also trying to placate Nitish Kumar. What we learn is that several top leaders of the BJP, Bihar BJP, are speaking to the Chief Minister. But all eyes will be on the, yeah, tomorrow's meeting. And after tomorrow's meeting, it will be clear that what Nitish Kumar really wants to do, whether he really wants to dump the BJP or whether it's just the pressure tactics or if he really wants to join uh, Mahagathbandhan. Pooja. Very interesting. Rohit, I request you to stay on with me because it's not the first time that Nitish Kumar has either made a political shift or a U-turn with his political decisions and primarily ensuring that his party and his political domain survives. Four times. Let's take a look when Nitish Kumar made a political shift. Now, remember, he is one of the biggest netas for Bihar politics. But what exactly has been his political journey as well? Not exactly staying with one party if there's been an alliance required. Let's begin one by one. It was in 1994, actually, that Nitish Kumar quit the Janata Dal to join the Samata Dal. That was his initiation into political fighting and specifically becoming one of the big leaders of Bihar. But it was in 2013, after they had already formed as the JDU-BJP alliance, he had already become the chief minister by then as well. But after Prime Minister face was declared as Narendra Modi and also becoming the chairperson of the Lok Sabha election committee for the BJP, Modi was announced. He quit the NDA and then became a bigger paradigm shift in Bihar politics in 2015 when Nitish Kumar, of all possible options, formed a Mahagathbandhan, which is a grand alliance with the Congress party and the RJD. RJD of Lalu Prasad Yadav, arch rivals, the party against which Nitish Kumar had fought for very long and emerged. But this alliance did not last very long because in 2017, he then quits the Mahagathbandhan, the grand alliance, and returns to the NDA, fights election, BJP wins more seats, about 77. Nitish Kumar gets about 45, but becomes the chief minister yet again. Is he going to switch to the Mahagat Bandhan or stay with Narendra Modi and the NDA? 